Why the M1 Abrams tank is so tough. The US Army's classic Abrams main battle tank seems to be capable of it all. And why hasn't the Army built a new generation of highly armored main battle tanks? With future wars expected to be far, fast, networked, expeditionary, disaggregated and driven by robots, is there still room for heavy armor? Old tanks can learn new tricks. The new Abrams are equipped with a new, much higher infrared sensor capable of finding and transmitting target information from greater distances, a major development given that future wars are expected to be much more disaggregated and driven by more diffuse maneuvers. Long-range weapons, air ground integration, unmanned systems, and a much larger network are expected to make concentrated groups of armored troops much more vulnerable to enemy attacks. Therefore, having the ability to find and destroy undetected targets during forward attack operations is naturally quite significant. Just as important if not more important, sensor improvements are increasing exponentially through the use of newer applications of computer processing power and AI-enabled algorithms. Abrams today has a completely different computing system than ever before and formally separate sensor datasets can now be collected, organized, and transmitted much more quickly and efficiently than ever before. Technology continues to accelerate at lightning speed, meaning that the time it usually takes for commanders to find and attack various potentially scattered enemy targets continues to be shortened. What used to take a few minutes can now take a few seconds under certain circumstances. Such a technical ability to integrate the EOIR sensor with the thermal sensor and fire control system allows the Abrams tank, for example, to locate and destroy multiple enemy targets in quick succession. Abrams also, over the years, were mostly built to defend against newer forms of enemy attack. The platform has received new additional armor configurations to defend against IEDs, as Abrams are the most capable armored vehicles to carry out missions, counter IED road clearing to ensure a safe passage for more vulnerable vehicles. Years ago, Abrams was given the so-called Tusk, 
Tactical Urban Survival Kit. A series of armor plates around him to protect the .50 cal gunners emerging from the turret for mid-caliber machine gun attacks. While Abrams are inherently immune to small arms fire, Shooters who are out to fire .50 cal guns or small arms will of course soon become vulnerable to enemy fire. Abrams has also been awarded the Trophy Active Protection System, a well-known and successfully tested integrated system using sensors to locate near-trajectory attack ammunition such as RPGs or even anti-tank guided missiles. Once approaching enemy fire is found and recovered, data is sent via a computer-powered fire control system which then fires an interceptor designed to hit, detonate, and stop incoming ammunition. Abrams can also use reactive armor to stop RPG attacks, and the platform is certainly built to withstand the massive amount of fire that comes with it. <laughs> 